everybody, I'm Noah from Tata Soul and today I want to show you how I embroider this mini Christmas embroidery design. It is now available on my shop both as embroidery kits and as PDF patterns you can immediately download to your computer and start stitching with me. So get your stuff and let's embroider this design together! So I'm going to start with the text. Usually I do backstitch for small letters but I wanted to show you another way. Let's make a split stitch. The first stitch will be a simple step forward, just up and down with your needle. Then bring your needle up again through the center of the last stitch. Continue like that with every stitch that follows. Use small stitches because those letters have curves. I'm dividing most of the letters to three stitches per side and I'm working with a three strings thread here. Now for the wreath. We basically have a lazy daisy leaves separated with clean lines. You can do a simple stitch, then a lazy daisy and then another simple stitch and so on. I'm going to embroider the clean line as running stitches all the way around and then come back for the leaves. If you're not familiar with one of the stitches I mentioned, you can check out my embroidery playlist for all the videos for all basic stitches and embroidery tutorials. For the lazy daisy stitches, bring your needle up and then back down closely to the exit point, leaving an inch of thread loose. Bring your needle from where the tip of the petal will be, go through the loop you created and pull up. To secure the petal, bring your needle back down from the other side of the loop. The pine cone is my favorite shape here. I'm going to stitch them using backstitch with small stitch length. The back stitch creates a solid line so it's good for outlining a design. Begin by pulling the needle up through the fabric and do one stitch forward. Before your next stitch, space the needle out the length of the desired stitch. Pull up through the fabric and bring the needle back down through the end of your last stitch. This rose is also one of my favorites in embroidery. You can check out the detailed video I did only for this stitch. After I divide the circle to an uneven number of lines, usually 5 to 9, I start to weave from the center of the flower in a crisscross method. When I finish the circle, I add long stitches around the flower to make it look more soft around the edges. For the holly leaves, I first make a stitch from the point of the leaf to the base of the leaf. Then I do satin stitch all over the shape. It means going from side to side and fill up the shape. For this branch I do backstitch. And now, last but not least, the French knots. These cute dots will add festive decoration to the embroidery. Again, I have a full video just about French knots, but the basics are to wrap your needle twice around the thread while keeping tension with your other hand. Then bring your needle back down very close to the exit point of your thread. I used three strings thread for the French knots in this design. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to check out all my videos and tutorials and make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'm going to host some giveaways and do some special sales for this holiday season, so don't miss anything. And I will see you guys in the next video. Happy holidays! Bye!